Hey boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am back in this warehouse working on yet another overspray vehicle. Um, had an issue with the deal, got the deal back because the other guy just wasn't doing a great job. And price, you should, how do I even put it? Sometimes just pay more because it's better and you don't have to worry about it. So anyway, price was an issue. He got over that when he got screwed over. The guy damaged a couple cars. That's where we're at now. So I'm um, working on this F-150 and it has overspray all over it. It is bad. You can see it's everywhere, all over the chrome. So, no big deal. Um, generally, and this is no exception, I usually will start the video after I figure out what's going on and uh, figure out what it's going to take to fix the problem. So, that's where we're at. So, I have removed the overspray from this tail light all the way up to the front fender. I'm just getting started with the hood. Um, got my infinite purpose cleaner. Again, it's diluted one part product to three parts water. And um, I'm using my fantastic clay bar that I import from Japan. This stuff is amazing. It's super gentle on paint, but it is aggressive on contamination. It's, they're amazing. I love them. That's, well, that's why I import them from Japan. Anyway, those are available on DetailJuice.com, $19.99 for a 100 gram bar. This is 50 grams, so a half of a bar. Um, when you use the Infinite Purpose Cleaner, and I mentioned this in the last video for overspray, with the clay bar um, as the lubricant to help break down the paint, when you do that, it is going to break the bar down you are going to eat up clay bars. Now, I can tell you I used a used portion from last time from just regular contamination. I used a half of a bar on this whole side of the truck. And that bar isn't completely broken down, but it was starting to flake off to the point where I couldn't re really make it work very well. It's a little bit too soft. It is breaking down as we speak. Um, but this piece here is still good to go. I've been using it a little bit with the infinite use detail juice in the bucket there. And I tried to use the infinite use detail juice, which is what I have on this towel. And so you'll see, let's give it a little bit of a wipe. I'm pulling contamination off, but not the overspray. You can see it's nasty. And you'll notice it does an okay job, but it doesn't remove everything. So I'm going to step it up on the hood to using the Infinite Purpose Cleaner and see where we go from there. You can see all the contamination there, all the dots. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you spray it with the infinite purpose cleaner and we're going to use the infinite purpose cleaner as the lube it takes almost no effort with the ipc it removes the paint and this paint is hard core stuff let me just tell you it's industrial grade it's supposed to last 30 years it's what they painted the building i'm in right now with and uh, I can tell you, it is hardcore stuff. Serious durability. And so this combo with this clay bar and my Infinite Purpose Cleaner is doing a great job of removing this overspray with no real issue to speak of. I always like to dunk, instead of needing it, I dunk it in the uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner bucket before I need it to get whatever residue I can off of the clay bar before it gets trapped inside when I need it. Um, 
and begins to break down the clay bar even faster. So I do what I can to pre preserve it. Now I'll show you after it dries. This section I didn't do. Let's see if I can get you to uh, see all the overspray. Now over here, there is none. I'm going to go straight past where I worked, and you can see it everywhere. So, one part product, so about a quarter of product, so put that much infinite purpose cleaner in here and then filled the bottle up with water, and I'm using that as the lubricant with that Japanese clay bar. This is working amazing. Um, works great on the trim, the chrome, well not the trim, I'm sorry, on the chrome, the paint, headlights, taillights, and all of that. You'll notice there's, this is crystal clear, I already fixed all that. Windows, crystal clear. So all of the side, even this chrome here on the side, uh, looks good. Handles look great. Tail lights. Um, I will be using the same trick I showed you guys about before on the trim. Uh, the Goo Gone and Doodle Bug. Got the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some regular Goo Gone today. Basically, if you can get some straight up orange oil, it's the same thing. You don't need to get Goo Gone specifically, but it's far harder to find real 100% orange oil that's not diluted. Uh, it's harder to find that than it is to just go pick up some Goo Gone, which that's the main ingredient in that anyway. And then the Doodle Bug. You can find these on Amazon. Uh, also keep in mind, I'm not plugging this to make a profit on it, guys. I'm not, I'm not trying, I don't have any affiliate sponsorships or partnerships. Um, go buy this, use your own account. You don't have to get any crazy links from me. Uh, like the other guys on YouTube are doing. I mean, I, I commend their efforts. You know, they're trying to make a business out of uh, shilling you products, but I'm only showing you uh, things that I use myself. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to bullshit you so that you'll go buy things that I don't even like so that I make money on it. I don't do that. It's not how I roll. So, anyway, Goo Gone, Doodle Bug. Goo Gone, I got at Walmart. Doodle Bug. I got on Amazon, you can find, you can get a box of them for relatively inexpensive. But that's where I'm at. Just wanted to show you guys what was up. I'm going to get this hood done and then jump up on the roof, get the roof all done. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm actually, to keep costs down on this one and to move on to that scat pack that's outside. Um... I don't even need to paint, or I don't even need to polish this paint. It's coming out really nice. It looks great. So I'm just going to let it ride. But that's where we're at. F-150, XLT, going to keep moving. All right, guys, let's get serious about this. This right here, Infinite Purpose Cleaner. The Japanese ultra fine clay bar that I saw on detailjuice.com, those two right there, that is quite literally the absolute best, without question, overspray removal kit that I've ever used on the face of the planet. So I've gotten three quarters of this roof done, the windshield's all done. Literally have this section left in the back of this windshield right here, but if you look, we get to focus in there. I don't know if you can see. But this here all nasty it is compared to this over here. Quite a bit different. It's not coming up on the camera. There we go. You can see all that overspray. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I am, it's all clean, so I cleaned it. Spraying some infinite purpose cleaner. I know I've mentioned this a couple times. I just wanna do another quick demo. Get a good amount on the surface because we're using this as the lube 
take the clay bar, I'm going to get your hands a little bit wet so that the clay doesn't stick to your hands, but quite literally just rub it in and it removes all of the paint, even this heavy duty sh stuff that's all over this truck. It does a great job. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Quick work of this stuff. The faster you can get it done properly, the faster you can get paid. And that's what we, that's how we roll. Put some el elbow grease in there. It's good to go. Grab a towel. Just wipe it. And you can see where I've done. There's no overspray left in those areas. It looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna put you down and get back to work. All right, boys and girls, that's all she wrote on this overspray job for today. Paint's nice and clear. Chrome's nice and clear. And free of contamination. I've had probably seven people come in while I'm working on it tell me how awesome this truck looks. I really like it in this ruby color. I do not love chrome though. It's not my preference on a truck. That's why I always buy the sport model that has the uh, chrome delete. But the paint on this truck is amazing. I love the color. I debated getting this color with uh, my F-150, my 16, but that blue flame metallic is just amazing. But free of overspray now. The tonneau cover also is free of overspray. Got some dust on it. All the plastic, running boards, everything, glass. But that's it, guys. So. I hope you learned a tip or two from me. And if you've got any questions, 813-846-4406. It's that easy to get a hold of me. Um, I get a lot of telemarketers these days, so leave me a voicemail if I don't answer the phone. Uh, or send me a text message. Or find me on Facebook. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Um, if you want support on the product line and you don't want a biased answer from me, you can get it in the group. But uh, let me know if you need me, guys. I'm always available. But this has been a 2010 F-150 overspray removal. Boom. Done deal. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.